Okay, so Rolls actually doesn't have stub axles you can just pop out. Um, interestingly, they stick one of these on the end, retained with a circlip, and these are bearings, uh, the outer bearings that they ride on, I guess. Kind of saucy. And these also locate the uh, differential itself within the differential housing. Now, here's the stub axle. It's about an inch and a quarter thickness on the shaft, and it uses U-joints on the wheel end that I swear to God are twice the thickness of the axle U-joints. Here's some Belleville washers that do the preloading for the crown and pinion wheel differential, etc. Uh, so you have to actually pop these side housings in. They're held in by six bolts. Here's a giant two-prong... Why am I not focused? Here's a giant two-prong um, CV, I guess. And it actually has diff oil inside this unit. It's not packed with grease. Go figure. Uh, I have the hubs taken off right now because I'm having the drive shaft thing machined for two extra woodruff keys. Otherwise, a single woodruff is attempting to transmit all the power. There's the twin brake lines. Obviously, the diff would mount to that giant carrier. Here are the hubs. Brake caliper still attached because why not? I will maybe video the drive axles when they come in, but they actually. There's the yoke that comes off here for that uh, that U-joint. It goes all the way through the hub to the other end and then bolts on with this kind of crown looking thing back onto the brake rotor uh, and back onto the face that holds the wheel with the studs. Kind of a crazy arrangement, but yeah, one, one wood rough key. All these other beefy components, a single wood rough key. I really don't understand. And then on the other side of the car, we have the diff housing itself. Uh, this thing is kind of beefcake. My hand is not tiny, and it does not even come close to filling up this volume. Uh, differential size bearings, they're actually, the caps are actually supposedly machined to here, so you don't want to get them upside down. There's the, um, there's the pinion, and it's beefy, and I thank God I don't have to adjust it, because that would really piss me off. And there's the torque reaction thing, there's the giant back plate, blah blah blah, there's the races for the bearings, and currently having the diff filled with uh, tool resin, tooling resin, um, because trying to weld it would be very difficult for reasons that I don't really need to get into. Also, I figured out a way to finally make the brakes work, thank God. Yeah, so uh, the diff is currently being filled with tooling resin, um, not the entire differential thing, but literally just the crown, crown and um, the ring gear thing. I don't know how to explain it. The diff. You'll see. It's going to be like welded pretty much. Also here's a windshield washer pump from an E320 that my neighbor has that I'm working on a little bit. Anyway, uh, this shit's nuts. I just had to make a video because like Rolls Royce, you are an enigmatic company sometimes. Holy moly. Currently replacing the axle seal because the one on the other side is leaking and this one I'm sure will soon do the same so I got two. Anyway, until next time, and uh, hopefully this thing will be at the uh, Euro Car Meet coming up on Saturday. Uh, I'm absolutely sure I'm going to be working solid through my birthday tomorrow, but you know what? Spending a birthday making a Rolls Royce work, eh, there could be worse things than that. Anyway, peace.